Today we're going to talk about using a compass and you'll notice a few features on our compass. You'll notice the base plate, so the hard plastic surface that everything's resting on, and it has a measuring tool in both millimeters on one side and inches on the other side. It has a mirror which we are going to use to take our bearing. It has a dial that spins, so it goes from zero, meaning true north, and it's a circle, so it does 360 degrees. So you'll notice due east is at 90, south is at 180, west is 270, and then back up to north is 360, or you can consider it zero degrees. Then you'll notice this red magnetic needle on one side that points towards magnetic north, and on the opposite side is white, that's pointing towards south. So as you spin your compass, that red needle is always pointing towards magnetic north, no matter where you spin your compass, the base plate. You'll also notice a big thick red arrow with parallel lines on each side. So those are the orienteering lines. And our goal, you'll hear me say many times, is putting red in the shed. That refers to positioning the base plate with myself so that that red magnetic needle is in that big thick red needle pointing north. So the first thing we want to do with our compass is aim towards magnetic north. So we hold our compass parallel with the ground. We're going to pull our mirror in towards us so that we can see our dial and see our needle. Then we're going to point our north, our big north red arrow with all the parallel lines. We're going to point that up towards zero. So you'll see this arrow, this orienteering, the directional arrow. It follows through to the mirror, the line in the mirror. All that is connected. So we want to position ourselves so that that big, thick red north arrow is positioned so that the red magnetic needle is aiming towards it. So red is in the shed. So that from standing right here in this position, you'll see the mirror. Standing in this position, we are now at north. We're now heading north. If we want